Hey everyone, welcome back to another installation video. And in today's video, we have this 2020 Toyota Highlander and we're gonna install the tail light tints for this vehicle. So this is how it looks before the installation and this is how it looks after the installation. So the tint has the properties of PPF, which means it will protect the lenses from yellowing over time, as well as protect it from any small scratches or any road debris that might hit the lenses. Link for the product will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So the tools you need in order to install the tint kit will be slip solution, tack solution, a heat gun, squeegee, and a microfiber towel. And a step-by-step -step guide in order to create the two solutions will be in the description below. So before starting the installation, we want to make sure we clean the lens for many contaminants that it may have. So just apply your slip solution and just clean off the lens. So to start off the installation, we're going to need to apply slip solution onto the lens and onto the tent as well. And with this one, we want to start it off on this end first. So with the Highlander tail lights, you are going to notice that there is like this cutout or design that the tail light has. For both of the lenses, for each side, the bottom piece will not be covered due to the curve that it has here. So the tint will only cover up to where the curve is about to start. So when installing this one, we're gonna start off by aligning it to this edge first. So remember, we're not covering the bottom half because this is where the curve is at. So you just want to align it right before the curve, right before this cutout of the tail light, and then just align it. Once we have it aligned here to the edge and right aligned to the bottom here, we're just gonna apply tack solution underneath the film and on top and start tacking it down. So we're only tacking down up to here and then the rest we're gonna stretch in order to meet this edge here. Dry this area, that way we're able to stretch the film. Lift the film, apply slip solution, place it back down and then stretch it up till you meet this edge here. Once you have it to this end, Lift the film, apply tack solution. That way the adhesive starts activating and we can start tacking this piece down. So just tack down this whole section. And make sure you're removing all of the water bubbles that are behind the film. So now that we have this section tacked down, we're going to apply slip solution here underneath the film. That way we would have stretched the film in order to cover the edges here. So once we apply slip solution, stretch the film going upward and making sure we reach it up till we cover the top two. Once we have it covering the top piece, we're just gonna start tacking it down. And then just finish off by tacking the rest of the film down. And if some fingers do start coming up, just squeegee them down. And using heat with tack solution also helps with removing any small fingers. Okay, so the same steps we did with this tint, we're gonna do to this lens. So we're just applying slip solution on the lens and then on the film. And it's going to be the same steps. We're just going to place it and only cover up to this portion here of the tint, like how we did with this piece here. So make sure you align it here first. So make sure this whole piece is aligned before we move on. Uh, once we have it aligned, remove the film and apply tack solution. That way we can start using our squeegee to tack it down. Now that we have this section secured, we're gonna to need to stretch the film in order to meet this edge here. So in order to stretch, we're just gonna apply slip solution. And before meeting to the end here, we're gonna meet this cutout to right here to this edge. Grab the film and stretch the film just to help release the tension of the film. So we're just pre-stretching basically. And if you feel that the film is getting stuck, just apply slip solution. Make sure this is dry and then just stretch. And while you're doing the pre stretch make sure you're covering this piece of the tail light here too. So it should look like this. And now that we have it in position, all we're gonna do is just finish it off by tacking everything down. So before moving on to the next installation, what we need to do is make sure we secure the film. And if you see any fingers popping up, we're gonna need to seal them. So all you need to do is just apply tack solution wherever you see the fingers popping up. Grab your microfiber towel and your heat gun and start heating around the areas that you see fingers. That way, once we start the in installation on top, we could overlap the film to the bottom film here. Okay, now that we made sure we sealed everything, we can move on with the next installation. Okay, so same steps, just apply slip solution. 
and then place the film down and we're going to start off by aligning it to this edge first so once we have it aligned to this edge we're just going to lift the film apply our tack solution once again and start tacking down this piece here okay now that we have a good amount of the film tacked down the next thing is just stretching the film and as we stretch we work our way on installing each section so just lift the film to apply slip solution that way the lens and the film doesn't dry up and it's easier for us to stretch so just start stretching and as you stretch tack down and we're stretching up to it meets the edge here so it's only light stretches so stretch hold it in place tack down help it tack down with the curve and then just make sure it's still aligned and just finish it off so once we finish tacking down this section here, the last thing to do is just apply heat all around the edge here where we are overlapping both films. That way the film doesn't lift over time and we help the adhesive on the film heal faster. So just apply a tack solution and heat and microfiber towel to seal the edge where we overlap. that's it you're done okay and the last thing to do is just post heat so all we're going to do is apply tack solution all around the film where we install it so any edges or anywhere where we overlap we apply tack solution and then with our microfiber towel and our heat gun we're just going to go all around that way we seal all of the edges and anywhere where we overlap the film Okay, so that concludes the installation for the tail light tints for the 2020 Toyota Highlander. We hope that this video helped you guys out. Please make sure to give the video a like, make sure to subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.